Hey, everybody out there in YouTube land. This is Jen, Minus Velvet. Um, this is just going to be a very quick video. Um, today, a trailer dropped, and we usually don't do many trailer reactions, but I had some thoughts on this particular trailer, and I just want to share my uh, thoughts with you guys. And before I get into my thoughts, I would like to say, I hope I'm wrong. I'm not trying to come at this at a hater's perspective. It's just they happen to touch a movie. Uh, there uh, basically America is touching a movie that is very near and dear to my heart I would put this movie somewhere in my top 20 to top 15 favorite horror movies of all time and that list is always evolving and changing but th but speak no evil is a movie that if you heard uh, me talking about it last year it was my number two favorite movie of that particular year I thought it was brilliant not a lot of people in the horror community the few people that saw it not very many people enjoyed it they either thought it was too brutal and too grim or some people had issues with the ending and now America is going to take a shot at it and I I had mixed feelings as soon as I heard America was going to take a shot at this movie from the beginning basically um, I thought this might not be a movie that America really needs to touch because the ending is kind of a commentary on a, a certain uh, this uh, people uh, Dutch people is a particularly and how polite they are and um, I'm curious to see how American will do it and like I said I saw the trailer today and I just have some thoughts on it I always try to come at things very fairly guys but to be perfectly honest and I could be wrong and I do think that James McAvoy will do a phenomenal job he is the kind of actor who always elevates um, a movie even if the movie is mediocre his performance usually always manages to elevate the movie just a smidge and I'm sure he is going to be the highlight of the movie but after seeing this trailer I wasn't too impressed um, just the whole the whole vibe it, it on one hand it kind of looks like a watered down and very much shot for shot I don't know that it's gonna be a shot for shot but there were very similar shots from the original movie and it but it seemed a very very watered down where the original speak to uh, speak no evil is a movie that is oppressive and foreboding and uh, it, it is it has one scene in it and there's not that many scenes in horror that make me just kind of pale and like my stomach drop my heart drop into my stomach there is a scene in the uh, in the original speak no evil uh, where where you just go oh my god I was literally shouting at the the screen the first time I saw it like for God's sake stop I mean it made me tension uh, it made me so uh, so just uh, you, your heart broke and as a parent because it involved the scene involves a child and as a parent you're just like oh god if you could go through the screen you'd make it stop that's how powerful this scene was he's only a child for Christ's sake you can't talk to him that way what is wrong with you no! what is wrong with you Everything that, that the movie did right in the original, this one does wrong. And again, I am not coming from a place from hate. I haven't seen the movie, so it could surprise me, guys. But this movie, from what I am seeing of it, kind of reminds me of something of in the category of an American Martyrs remake or an American Old Boy remake. It just doesn't have that 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 whatever that magic that the original did. And I kind of feel like this is a movie that shouldn't be touched now I again I could be wrong and it's not coming from hate but again the speak no evil was a movie that I fucking adored people who know me knows I can't stop sh talking about this movie or shut up about this movie and I just thought it was a brilliant film and also I'm kind of interesting how we're gonna touch on the ending because if you've seen the original it is commentary on Dutch society and the politeness and how their politeness they're so polite that it's a detriment to their culture and I'm not super familiar with the culture but after watching that movie I did do some research and the movie just gets so many things so right and so I'm kind of wondering what we're gonna what kind of spin we're gonna do that since it is an American version and they could do something totally cool I'm not saying they couldn't 
but this trailer does not give me a lot of hope but there's a lot of people out there who don't even know that there that this movie is a remake they're thinking this is new and all I am saying guys is before you go see speak no evil in September maybe watch and watch the original speak no evil because it is uh, for me I think it's just a movie that won't be able to hold a candle like the the, the American uh, version will not be able to hold a candle um, there is a another scene about the movie talking about basically our main characters the two main characters of this movie two men are talking about it and one of them's uh one of them is our protagonist and one of them is an evil guy and the and our protagonist is saying i have this great life guys every i don't have any money problems i love my wife i have this wonderful child and yet i'm still not happy or to put it in another way you ever reach a point in your life where you say to yourself, this is the best I'm ever going to look, the best I'm ever going to feel, the best I'm ever going to do, and it ain't that great? Happy birthday. Thank you. But these are just my opinions, and I will acknowledge I am somewhat biased because the, the original Speak No Evil is one of a, fa a favorite movie of mine that I think is brilliant, profound, and speaks a lot and has a lot of very good and complicated ideas set to a very oppressive and moody atmosphere that I just think is brilliant. And this one just looks kind of like an American watered-down version of of something that shouldn't have been touched. But as always, booze and goals, those are just my two cents, and I would love to hear what you guys think. Tell me what, leave comments down below, and if you think the trailer looks awesome, great. I hope it's good for you guys, but I'm going in with not very much expectations. Um, as always, guys, thank you for listening to my rambling rants. Um, love you guys, um, and in the meantime, keep watching and talking horror. Let me know what you think of this trailer, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.